it's Xena, Warthog Princess, and thank you for watching. This is an exciting milestone to hit 2,000 subscribers, and obviously I can't do that without you. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I do feel like we have a lovely little community here, and I really enjoy communicating with each and every one of you. I still answer every single comment that comes in. Sometimes it takes me a couple days a week at the most, typically, but I try to answer them as soon as I can. Also, I have a giveaway, so I'm gonna run through these items in just a moment. But in order to enter for the giveaway, there are very few things you need to do. One, you need to be subscribed. More than 60%, uh, plus or minus of my viewers are not subscribed and that's okay I mean no obligation but you can't win if you're not subscribed so subscribe please hit that um, subscribe button and keep watching keep coming back there's lots of material to come in the future also second thing put a comment down below on what you'd like to see in the future so if you want to see more love or Vera or Jujube or um, camping stuff, cruising stuff, um, chronic illness awareness stuff, military stuff, fighter pilot stuff, whatever it is that you want to see more of, give me a shout down below in the comments. Um, you can also let me know anything else, like what you've liked or disliked in the future. But the one criteria is be subscribed. The second criteria is leave a comment below what you'd like to see in the future. Super easy. So that's it. Um, you can get a bonus entry if you um, follow me on Instagram. That's a Warthog Princess there. I'll put all the links and stuff down below. But let's run through what you could win. Because giveaways are fun. So there's no like high dollar items here, but everything is new, not used. So there, most of the things have tags. A lot of them are actually still in the plastic. So here goes. The first item is Erin Condren. It's three adhesive elastic pen holders. They stick onto any notebook. It doesn't have to be a planner. It doesn't have to be Erin Condren, but you can see here that the little elastic holds a pen or pencil. Um, they work great. I really, I use them on all my planners. Just always have a pen handy. Um, but like I said, you can put on any notebook, you put on a binder, whatever. And I found, because I did have it on the um, plastic of the cover, see on my planner right here. I, I put it on the inside so that it doesn't catch on things because it just sticks out just a little bit. Um, and I actually, when I changed covers, you can actually peel it off and reuse it. But I think if you do that, then it won't stick quite as well. But they stick really well, at least on the initial stick. Here's another picture of what that is. So it's gold, silver, and bronze, if you will. Metallic, blingy threads there. So that's the first item. Other Erin Condren item. This is planned for tomorrow, celebrate today. All it is is a perpetual calendar. If you're not familiar with the perpetual calendar, it's just, it's non-year. Um, but each month, it just lists the days of the month. I use these to track birthdays. So I, I have several of them. Um, you know, they get marked up after a while. If you write in pencil, you can erase and rewrite it. But like, for example, um, I'd write how many, everybody's birthday who's on February 10th, I'd put them all on that line across. So when, when I sit down at the beginning of the month, I can pull this out, open it up. And if I'm on top of things, which most of the time I'm not, uh, when it comes to this sort of thing, I could just pull it up and say, what month is it? Sit down and I can write notes to the people whose birthdays it is or plan my gifts for the following months for those people um, who I'm going to give gifts to, whatever. You also can use it to track, you know, budgeting things, goals. You can use it to do a lot of different things. Um, yeah, so there you go. It also has in the back some holidays and dates to remember. They're just... Dates that go from year to year, like, yeah, there's a New Year's every year. There's a flag day every year. Um, if it's one of those ones that falls on, um, for example, like the third Monday of February every year, that's President's Day. So it doesn't have a date. It'll just say President's Day, third Monday, and it's listed under the February thing. So you can kind of see those. I'm not sure how clear they are for you, but anyway. So that's on the back page. And... I don't think there's much else. Let's see. A couple pages for contacts if you need them. I really don't use that at all. And that's it. So 
There you go. This is a, um, a I'm not gonna, this is a low dollar item. This is, a, a, I wanna say a chintzy little coin purse. It has a little key ring on it, so it is there. It's like thin nylon, has a zipper. I have a bunch of these, and I actually, I, I say chintzy little coin purse. I, it was really cheap on Amazon. They come as a pack of multiples, but I use it all the time. I really love them, and they're great for a little tech thing and your thing. You can put your headphones in there. You can put coins in there. You can use a lot of things. They're not going to be super durable, but I haven't had any issues. They've been rock solid, so... There you go. This one is kind of, I don't know, like a mandala pattern in red, white, and blue. And with 4th of July coming up, hey, that's perfect. All right, this next item is a Vera Bradley Iconic RFID Combo Wristlet. This is in Vines Floral. It is new with tags in the bag. Um, so I'm not going to open it up because I wanted to keep it new and fresh for whoever wins. Um, but it has got a removable wristlet strap. It's quilted cotton. It is cotton, not recycled cotton. None of that cotton reimagined, woo-ha, whatever. No, it's the old school cotton. And it does have a trim pattern here with the opening. So yeah, it should fit the phones. I have one myself and it does, I should have brought it out. That would have been smart, sorry. Uh, but it does fit my phone, which was a 6S Plus, now the 13 Pro Max, and it fits in there, no problem. So it has like this foam section with the flap covering and then a zipper part for the wallet or whatever. This next item is the Lug Sleeper. It's a brush holder by design. I don't use a lot of makeup, so I definitely don't have brushes. This is in um, Stars and Shells Navy. Um, but what it is, you can see here that you can put your brushes in there. I use it for other things like pens and pencils. Uh, I used this exact item, not this one, but one exactly like it. I used on my cruise to put all my nautical themed pens and pencils in there. And I just used that as a pencil case. And the cool part about it is like if you're using it for colored pencils or art supplies, see how you just, you can make it stand up. You just pull that little string and it holds its position to make like a little V shape so that it can hold with the tip sticking out. So if you are using it for brushes, it's perfect. You just set it up in your bathroom or whatever, especially when you're traveling. Um, but if you're using it for other things, crochet hooks, pens and pencils, um, colored pencils, colored pens, um, you can use it for a lot of different things. Or you can just disregard those slots altogether. You know, I mean, you could put family toothbrushes in there. You could put um, just other things, just lie them flat in there. You can use it for a lot of other things. I'll leave that to you, whoever wins. This next item is, um, I'm going to say unbranded. It is a bucket tote. It is clear plastic. It just says blue floral. Um, MSRP, it has new tags. It says it's $35. But it has these little faux leather handles. And they're like a, sort of a, like a light blue, silvery metallic look to them. And like I said, it's a bucket tote. So it has a pretty good base, circular base. And then it's got these pretty blue florals on it. So this is great for just bopping around. You could sure, you know, surely put your beach stuff in there. Um, you could use it for like a stadium bag when you need a clear bag. A lot of different things, just depending on what your preferences are. But it's a good size. And one of, okay, so one of my brands, Lug. Vera, Bradley, Jujube, Erin Condren, Stephanie Dawn, Cinda B. I could go on. There are some definite core groups of items that I have been sharing a lot of. So I tried to give something at least from each of those. Obviously, a little more centric on Vera and Lug. But this Jujube item is a bee dapper. This is the cozy knit pattern. It is new with tags. It's a rectangular cube. It's like, um, it's a toiletry bag, or you can use it for um, any number of things. It's a great craft bag. It's great for snacks when you're traveling. You can put a bunch of snacks in there. So yeah, just, it's a cube, cube shape. It has a zipper pocket on the front. It also has a zipper around the top. Nothing on the inside. It's just a nice big open bag. It's silver hardware. It is, very, very versatile, and when you're not using it, you can fold it back down flat for storage. So, I don't know if you can see that, but flat for storage. So, there's your Jujube. 
Jujube is machine washable. It is waterproof and stain resistant. Amazing. Awesome. Okay. This next item is a runway envelope set. It's a set of two Clearview envelopes in midnight black. Obviously, new with tags in the bag. Has not been opened at all. It's, there you go. This is the predecessor to, oh, what do they call them now? Now I'm forgetting. But there's a new name for Seesaw. The Seesaw envelopes. It's the same thing. Um, this is just the previous version. The inside of this one is just a simple gray interior. Not that you see much of it just down here, but there you go. Love, love, love those. I have like, mm, I won't tell you how many sets, but I have lots. Um, this is a Vera Bradley Zip ID and Lanyard set. This is a factory style. It's cotton. It's unquilted. This is Mimosa Medallion. I love my purples. It has a beautiful floral medallion right there. Um, it's still got the tissue inside and there you go. So when you buy the lanyard and zip ID set, you only have the one ring, not two, but it's okay. You can still reconfigure it however you like. And it does still have the clip on there with the old style clip, but there you go. It's new without tags. Actually, is a tag in there? No tag, but anyways, it hasn't been used. New without tags. This next item is factory style. This is Lighten Up in Scattered Wildflowers. This is called the Lighten Up Mini Zip Around Cosmetic. Um, I love these. I actually accidentally bought a second one, so I have one myself. It has a, almost, it's not quite lay flat, but you know, you can kind of push it to lay flat. It's, it almost lays flat on its own. There are three little mesh elastic compartments here, and the opposite side has a double zipper mesh closure, so you can put stuff in here. So it's it's like two thirds, one third. So this side is a little less thick, um, but that's the top that closes down. So you can use it in this configuration, or you can use it vertically like this and just not zip it all the way down. So you do have a double zipper, which I love, so you can just zip it part way and use it like a vertical entry. And you can stow stuff between the two compartments because there is quite a little bit of space in total for the little kit. It has the rubber zipper pulls on there. And I've not had any issues with them. Some people have said that they can break, but I haven't had that happen. Okay. It has these adorable little handles on the top, which is so cool. Also makes it very handy when it's in your bag and you just grab it out. Um, you can use it in a large purse daily. Great for travel, great for a lot of things. It is not plastic lined, but it is a wipeable nylon there. Sorry, I'm getting 